There is still all to play for as the First Division's bottom two clubs in this year's LV County Championship, Somerset and Surrey, traded punches on the second day of their match in Taunton, with neither able to find a really telling blow. Surrey didn't add a single run to their overnight score of 195 for 8. Chris Tremlett edged the fourth ball of the morning, bowled by Alfonso Thomas to Craig Kieswetter. While Jay Dernbach was taken by Marcus Truskothic off the same bowler, Surrey were all out for 195 and that meant not even one batting bonus point, something they really needed a few of in their bid to stay up. But Somerset's reply also started badly. Truskothic was bowled via the inside edge by Dernbach to the innings third ball. And Chris Jones got a straightforward nick off Tremlett to Stephen Davis. Four runs had been scored thus far in this day and four wickets had fallen almost to sum up the batting frailties of both sides. Perhaps the main reason they find themselves battling to avoid the drop in mid-September. At least Nick Compton and James Hildreth were finally able to find some runs as they took the total along to 46. But the game was still in the balance when Hildreth on 12 was trapped in his crease by Stuart Meeker. So it was now time for Compton to shine. A year ago his future appeared to be with England, but now he needed to find an innings of note to ensure that he'll not be playing second division red ball cricket in 2014. He played in an encouraging manner, finding the boundary on several occasions. And that saw him through to his second successive 50, which arrived off just 67 balls and innings including nine fours thus far. It was by some way the knock of the match to date, and in what looks like it will be a low scoring contest, every run he could add from here would be crucial. He was helped for a while by Kieswetter, who decided that the best way to deal with this pitch and this attack was to play some shots, and both of these batsmen play some delightful ones. But Kieswetter did play one too many, driving Xander de Brain to Rory Burns right on the stroke of lunch to head to the dining room with 32 runs from his name from only 26 balls. He and Compton have put their side on top with a partnership of 62 and 11 overs, but Surrey then fought back after the break. Dernbach bowled Compton, again via an edge for 66. And Alex Barrow was legged before to the same bowler in the same over to leave the home side on 133 for six, still 62 runs behind. Surrey perhaps now just had the edge themselves, but not for long. Peter Trigo and Craig Mishada then combined with a vital and patient stand, which again had their side feeling better. Between them, they put on 68 runs, and that had their team into the lead, and a lead of many more than 50 would be a real advantage on this surface. But Trigo then gave it away, slicing a drive of Zafar Ansari to be caught quite brilliantly in the deep, by Dominic Sibley. Trigo had to go for 38. While Mercedes followed two balls later for 27, although in his defence, the ball which got him would have got many a batsman out. Pius Chawla, a very handy man to have coming in at number 10, decided to negate any turn by driving his first ball on the full for four. He also belted Ansari for a maximum before Bad Light intervened with Somerset on 222 for 8. Back out, that score had advanced to 256 when Gareth Batty had Chawla LBW for 32, a big, big wicket for Surrey, who were beginning to fall behind. They were left with a first innings deficit of 65, as Lewis Gregory drove Ansari to Tremlett having made 23. All but the openers, who both made ducks, had made a start but only Compton had gone on and that's why Somerset had to make do with a total of 260. Surrey were then given a tough spell to now see out the day and they would have been quite happy to be offered the light after Burns and Sibley had survived 21 balls and had scored 13 runs. So those with a nervous disposition will have another difficult day on Friday. Surrey go into day three of this match trailing by 52 runs and it's huge now for them to knock off that deficit with no more than a couple of wickets down, and certainly not the one of Hashim Amla.